Hello, friends and family! Oh, I changed it up on you! <laughs> anyway, welcome to the vlog. I think it's official. It is time that I start wearing my long johns on a regular basis, not just at night. It is getting cold! And my body is feeling it. I, work, I woke up at 4 a.m. this morning with intense pain in my thumb and I didn't really know what it was. I was able to see the chiropractor, thankfully. They were able to squeeze me in today. I'm very grateful for that. And then uh, she just said it was probably a flare-up of fibromyalgia. And so to uh, keep moving it and take some Tylenol. And I also put some Valtteran on it. That seems to have helped the most. And then I had a nap. And when I woke up, it felt a whole lot better. It's still sore. And it's probably going to be sore for a little bit longer. So the seasons are changing. I'm feeling it, and I hope that you're doing well, in spite of the seasons changing. Hey guys, this is a 45 pound dumbbell. My goal is to reach 18 inch arms. And, and now you're at? Now I am a bit, almost, almost 15. Almost, almost 15, 15 inches. So I got a little ways to go. But right now I'm using two arms because, well, because this is 45 pounds. It's 45 pounds. So take but a your goal is to Eventually, lift that with one arm. With one arm, that's my goal. Yeah, yeah. But so we got that today for you. Today, so I'll show you guys so I can do it with with two arms. Here we go. You should keep it closer to your body so you don't hurt your back. All right, who wants some cabbage juice? It's not meant for eating, but I'm gonna show you. I'm going to be testing the pH of the batch of soap that I made five days ago. And I'm using cabbage juice to do this. All right, moment of truth. Got my soap here. I'm gonna, okay, you're gonna be rolling for a while. You can stop. Ellipses. <laughs> we got the cabbage juice and we're gonna just put one drop and so it's purple if the pH is good so between 8 and 10 for soap this cabbage juice should turn from purple to blue All right, I think now you can see it more appropriately. It's blue. Yeah, see on the paper towel, you can see that it turned blue. Hey guys. Hello. We're gonna do our last visual awareness or visual impairment awareness month challenge today, mm -hmm. since it's the end of the month. So I made some fondant and it's kind of like Play-Doh. Once you start um, playing around with it, it becomes soft. And so we're gonna go ahead and take off our rings and we're gonna make sculptures blindfolded. We're gonna make a snowman first. Mm -hmm. Or attempt to <laughs> sculpt a snowman. Uh, we said, I'm forgetting. Was it a star or something? A star. Yeah. And then a snail? Yeah. Okay. And then you are the judges to <clears throat> see who's the, be who's the best blind sculpture between the two of us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's start with the snowman. Alrighty. Okay, here's Randy's snowman. And here is mine. He's not standing because it's not sticky enough. <laughs> mm -hmm. Here is Randy's star. <laughs> and here's my star. <laughs> okay, here is Randy's <laughs> snail. It looks a little bit like a hippopotamus <laughs> to me. <laughs> Okay, and here's mine. It's falling <laughs> apart. It was really standing when we opened our eyes. It was like this. 
All right, so we are <laughs> not going to eat that fondant. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit hard and messy. Yeah. It's not the best batch I've made. And so you guys are the judges. Let us know in the comments <laughs> who do you think did the best on each item. So on the uh, snowman, the star, and on the snail. So we'll see you guys next week. And until yeah. then... Remember to laugh hard. And to love much. Wait.